Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Zestaria with Elias for Games. On the last episode, we started doing some side questing in order to procrastinate from story stuff. Um, so what what did we do? We <laughs> we defeated the Hellion in Volgren Forest, and we defeated the Peacock Hellion in the Patil Forest of Mallory. And we also came down here to the Vivia Subterranean Aqueduct for a little scene with Alicia and some nobles. And she left us behind an Irish gem quite kindly. So we're just going to quickly go and grab that. Purple Irish gem dough. The ancient shepherds do battle. Wielding the might of Motalis, they crush the Hellion armies. Wow, I never knew there were once so many shepherds, all using their purification powers on Hellions. So the question is, why and how did they disappear? What do you think? If the existence of so many shepherds depended on Maltellus, then when Maltellus disappeared, so did all of them. Isn't it too early to jump to conclusions? Well, what other possibilities are there? Maybe humans abandoned their faith in Seraphim to the extent that shepherds just ceased to exist. Perhaps the large crowd of shepherds we saw was just a historical anomaly. Maybe only people like Saray can be shepherds, and there's just fewer nice guys in the world these days. Huh. So there's plenty of other possibilities. I guess that means we have to keep collecting information. Yes. If you do that, you will surely arrive at your answer. Yeah, we're gonna arrive at our answer. It'll be great. But before we go anywhere with answers and stuff, we need to go and talk to Alicia. Because she screwed up. She embarrassed herself. That's a rude thing to say. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Alicia. Let's go to her house. Yes, we're gonna go to her house. I, I feel bad for her and I feel like we need to talk to her and see if she is okay. Um, I mean, it's not like she meant to embarrass herself or anything. It just kind of happened. Uh, oh well. What can you do? <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, we are just going to go and talk to Alicia and then we're going to start heading on with a few other side quests. Um, trying to think what ones we're actually going to do. Uh, hmm, are there a few different things that we could be doing? Um, we might go to the new area today. That would be fun. Or we could go to Eater Cave. Hmm. Let's have a look at Alicia first, though. Saray, wait! How did it go? Fortunately, we were able to prevent rumors from spreading. Though in the end, I did have to prostrate myself. That must have been hard. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I did go a bit too far, after all. The Difta family has been surviving as a branch of the Imperial family. But my mother was born to normal citizens, and was later courted on a whim by my father. So everyone forgave me and assumed it was natural I didn't follow politics. Milady! And so... <laughs> that's why I wanted to do the right thing. <laughs> I wanted to gain acceptance from everyone in honor of my late father and mother. <laughs> was I wrong in the end? I shall go fetch some more tea. Let's leave her alone, just for a moment. Right. Poor Alicia. I feel bad for her. Do we have anything more about her here? Or no, I don't think we do. Okay. That's the end of that then. But we do have something to lighten the mood a bit. We have some rosy cheeks. Uh, <laughs> a, a must have for all pure a must have for all pure young ladies and pure young men too, of course. Oh man, I can't uh, let's put on some buddy ears so I can look at these properly. They're so cute. I never put them on anyone. I think 
for a while I put them on Lila, I think, on one of my playthroughs. But yeah, uh, pink cheeks. Yeah. They're, they're pink cheeks, you know? <laughs> um, this is what they look like on uh, Mikleo. <laughs> and then on Rose. And obviously on Lila. And Edna. And on Dezel. Um, where are they on Dezel? <laughs> oh, they're they're beneath his hair, but you can kind of see them, I guess. <laughs> oh man. I love the attachments in this game. They're just so silly and they allow you to customize things as much as you would like. Or as little as you'd like. You know, you don't have to wear the attachments. But they give you the option and that's always a good thing. Right, where are we going to go? I think we are going to go... Hmm. Eater Cave. I think we're going to go to Eater Cave. So I'm just going to save point travel there. I'll use the save point in the church. Because... Mostly out of habit, to be honest. I feel like I'm always at this one in my other playthroughs. Because anytime I walk to Lady Lick, I always come to this save point. Weirdly. Right, let's save point travel to Barracliff Ridge, to the Eater Cave entrance, and we will head through the Eater Cave and discover everything within it, and maybe even uh, do the side quest that we're supposed to do in there. It'll be a fun exploratory episode, because why not? Uh, how is my party? I think we need Lila in here. Um, and I think I'm going to keep playing as Mikleo. Yeah, because I like playing as Mikleo. Right, what way am I going? Um, uh, right. Let's go this way first, and then we'll go around the other way. Because this cave has a lot of branches. Hello! Stitch. It's a kitty tiger! I've definitely read out the first page of this one before because we had to fight one against the... Uh, it was during the Gadodin episode. Um, <laughs> so I'll read both pages of it. It's a dude. It's a tiger. It's tiger dude. He's big and strong yet somehow super quick too. Must be the kitty cat in him. One what? One wants to use long-ranged attacks, but one notes that his swiftness makes that difficult. One wishes for a companion to block his movements. One hopes one's point is getting across. Well, I'm not playing a Surrey, so... Rip. It's a martial arts trained Hellion. Should be pretty tough. If you don't let it come near you, it's no big deal. Alright, it's, uh, resistant to non-elemental and weak to physical. Oh, okay. You stunned my boy. That was just rude. Why do I have so many boys? Is that concerning? <laughs> I don't know. These are actually quite fun to... Okay, enough. I was gonna say these are quite fun to fight against and then Nicolai was just getting really angry. It's because he was out of focus, but... Get it together. Wait, better get it together. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we did have Lila in the party before, okay. Well, that was actually pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. I just ended up using Splash. I just, um, not Splash. Twin float, just spamming twin float at the end there. Oh, hello. Oh no. Oh no. Don't Hi. I know exactly who you are. Okay. Undead magician. I think these might be the same ones that were in Thingy Bob. What's it called? Tintagel rune Tintagel runes, I think. And the wraiths are Yeah, okay. So here's the information for the undead magician. This is what humans get for <sighs> This is what stupid humans get for trying to dabble in seraphic arts. It's taboo for a reason, cake brain. 
undead are free from the restrictions of life, so no matter how much you hit them, they'll just keep restoring their HP. But giving them status ailments will block this effect. And then for the Wraith... A spirit of the departed. Are you scared? It mostly uses long-range attacks, but it also has a nasty barrier art. When you're dead, you have a lot of time to prepare these things. It's definitely tougher to approach once it's put up a barrier, but it's also wide open to attack when it attempts to do so. Charge in and take it out quick before it can succeed. Okay, hi. Guess I'm fighting you first. Ow. As much as I'd rather be fighting everyone else first. Oh, yeah, these were Kimber Caverns, that's where it was. Uh, I knew I'd seen them before. Wraiths, anyway, the undead magician's worm. This is our pet fall! All this fighting sure makes me hungry. Oh sweet, that's the first time I've actually tried to use the power blast properly. That's really cool. Okay. I didn't expect that to actually work because Saray wasn't right beside it, but he kind of just teleported over. <laughs> Alright, hello. Everyone okay? Nice. Alright, I think we need to heal. Uh let's heal with <laughs> not black stuff. I'd feel bad if I force fed them all black stuff again. I mean, I will do it eventually. And there's only one black stuff this time at least, because last time there was quite a lot. Ooh. Oh yeah, if we'd come here when we'd first gotten to Barraclef Ridge, we wouldn't be able to get through here, would we? That's a good point. Hello! Well, that's a wrap! Oh my god, you two are so extra! Why are the humans in this party so extra? They just do mystic arts all over the place. Why? <laughs> we didn't need the mystic art, but that's fine. Pound cake. Delicious. Um, why? <laughs> God damn it. As soon as you get a power hit, they're just like, oh, I'm on that. Gonna start a mystic art, because why not? Oh, oh lord, oh no. We cannot avoid oh god. So, you think I could use that weapon? Don't even try it. You'll just injure yourself. Ah! Ow! That was painful. Oh my god. Who used to Mystic Art? Oh, I used to Mystic Art. Of course I did, right. Lila learned a new art. Lila got direct appeal paperwork. Direct appeal paperwork? A collection of appeal forms never submitted due to various typos and erroneous grammar. And then there's a second page if I can get her. Uh, it's not letting me look at it. Ah, there we go. The animosity contained within them is quite legible, however. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Uh, right, that's the one that I did have on. That one's... Mm, no. No. We're not putting on the direct appeal paperwork. What art did you get? Mad walls. Nice. Right, let's heal because that was ouch. <laughs> oh lord, Mikleo, you're dying boy. Oh, I've got to give him a peach gel. No, apple gel. Give him an apple gel. There we go. He's fine now. I was Mikleo. I died. This is fine though. It was, to be fair, a dangerous encounter. And to be fair, I'm the one who decided to do it. To be fair, I'm an idiot. Hello! A little Norman dude. Hello. Who are you? Forest. Forest. Forest, 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 forest. Uh, yeah, you could just go on that. Okay. Right. Where are we going? This way? Yeah, if we go this way and we go down, we can go that way? And we can get to this little area, and there might be something here. There might be a wraith. All is done here. Nice. We've got some sharp-edged paper. Sharp-edged paper. 
More paper for Lila. Oh, we already had one of those. Okay. Uh, right, where are we going? This way? Yes, this way. I know where I'm going. This is fine. I've played it before. I know exactly what I am doing. Probably. Oh lord, that doesn't sound fun. Let's not get involved with you! Ah! And that's how you escape from your problems, ladies and gentlemen. And other people. Uh, right, okay. There's nothing in here, is there? I came back this way in the hopes that there would be something, anything, waiting for me here. A little surprise. But no, there's nothing. Just disappointment. And a wraith. Everyone okay? Oh lord. <laughs> oh, McClear leveled up, that's good. Um, Basically, I just got into a fight. And I decided, you know what? Could I stop them casting at me? By just doing a friggin' Mystic Hour out of nowhere. Because why the heck not? And it was Aqua Limit as well. I love that. I love it so much. Accur Accurizer? That I've seen that come up before and it wasn't good. And I'm clicking on the wrong things. So you're going to learn Frigid Moon next? Sweet. Uh, I think that's what it said. Anyway. Yeah, Frigid Moon. Sweet. I'm getting very distracted. I'm not going to fight you. Sure. I am going to fight you. Everyone, are you all right? Very. That only took 20 seconds. I didn't expect that to do that. Wow. Oh no. Is that your sword style? Pretty cool. Well, I had a lot of practice with Miklia. That's all you need in life. Practice with Miklia. That gets you anywhere. What a formidable opponent. Only formidable because you used a Mystic Heart when it didn't even have a power hit combo going. Seriously, sorry, it resisted everything. You learn a new art though. Oh, that'll be Frigid Moon. Sweet. What am I doing? <sighs> I clicked on the wrong thing. It's got Raging Winds next. That's good. Yeah, Frigid Moon. Sweet. Right. Where did that other one go? Huh. Oh, it's a Wraith now. It's a ghost now. Okay, I'm not going that way. I don't need to go that way. I need to... Hold on. Yeah, I need to go north. I know what I'm doing. This is fine. This is cool. I've been here before. To be fair, I don't often come to this cave. Done. Oh, chocolate rusk. That sounds amazing. Oh lord. Oh god. I did not mean for this to become dangerous. Oh god. We're survivors, no matter the odds. Why did I even bother changing to Edna? Why? Okay, we got 17 grade for defeating a foe with a Mystic Art. We lost the exact same amount of grade for neglecting the status ailment victim. I would have healed that person if they hadn't been so extra with their Mystic Art. Friggin' Flamberge out of nowhere. Ugh, god. I mean, I'm not complaining, because it killed them. And at the same time, come on. Right, Wraith. You were quite strong. But we're no pushovers either. No, we're complete pushovers. I don't know why we're actually fighting these people. It's time! Howling Blade! Full Tempest! I was clearly the star of that battle. It's easiest to notice the dimmer stars when they shine, they say. I think Surrey has a problem. Or, like, some sort of inferiority complex that he's not talking about because, seriously! What a formidable opponent! Very formidable. If only because Here. it tried- uh, Thanks, Tessel? I thought you said ew for a second there. I was like, what, you don't like it? Alright, okay, we've been up there, so I could probably just go back and- Or, huh. It'd be just as quick to go this way, wouldn't it? Although the Hellions might not have spawned back that way. Oh well, if the Hellions have spawned back this way, we'll just fight them. We've been fighting them this entire time anyway, so it's fine. I mean, I need to level up, so I'm not complaining. Hello. Get it. Do not underestimate me. I'm not underestimating you at all, Mikleo. In fact, I'm playing as you, so it I'm overestimating you. It just exploded on its own. Edna. Why? Oh my gosh. I'm slightly disappointed. Actually, I'm not disappointed. It's fine. It's cool. 
It is not grey cooking. I'm ignoring that wraith. A madeline sounds wonderful. Serene's been really good at cooking recently. I'm worried. I'm worried that it might just be a fluke. He'll suddenly decide, no, black stuff is the way to go, and he'll just start cooking loads of black stuff again. And then that'll be it. Just black stuff and nothing else. That's fine, though. If we have to eat black stuff, as long as it's lovingly prepared by our shepherd. <laughs> no, I'm still not eating it. Um, Alright, hello. I can't believe there are so many Hellions out there. Yeah, there are quite a few. In fact, there are many all over this room, and most of them seem to be ghosts. Oh dear. Hello. It's not often you see a Seraph using a staff like a club. I mastered it while practicing with Saray. It's got the reach you'd need to win, since he's taller. That's not the reason why. But the height. That's not it. Again, he is so petty. I love him. I love him so much. Oh lord, oh god, oh my lord, oh god, no, please don't do this to me, I'd, I'd really rather not, oh lord, oh lord in heaven, please help me through this troubling time, I'm so sorry, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh no, are they gone? Right, they're gone, okay, whew. That was troubling. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to get into a dangerous encounter and then we'd all be dead. A hat? Just a normal hat? Okay. That's fine. You know what? I'll fight you. What a formidable opponent! Very formidable. Much opponent. Wow. We are survivors no matter the odds. Mm-hmm. Sorry, has a problem. I'm telling you. He just... He keeps using it. He keeps using it. And I don't know why. But he just keeps using it. And it's becoming an issue. I don't know why I'm speaking this quietly. It's like, hello, welcome to Tales of Zisteria ASMR. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not my thing. Alright, if I go... South? Yes. I can fight a tiger! Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Huh? I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. Yeah, we'll be cool. We'll go on ahead. Um. Hello? You sure are strange, Saray. Really? Definitely weird. You're also really- Not weird. I love him! He's such a child, and I love him. Oh, what, there's another one? Really? Really? I think it just kind of made the sound to give me a fright. But I didn't get a fright, I just got, like, kind of annoyance. <gasps> Hello? Hello? It's a helictite. Which comes with the skits. A helictite. Hey, looks like a helictite. A what? A helictite. It's like a stalactite that grows all bent. Wow, yeah. It's all warped and twisted. Like a certain someone we know. <laughs> but don't stalactites take a long time to form? Yeah, it's basically been growing along a deviant path since time immemorial. Like a certain someone we know. <laughs> it's weird, sure, but it's got a kind of ethereal beauty as well. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I love her! Edna is great! <laughs> I know I talk all the time about Mikleo being a child, but sometimes Edna is so childish as well, even though she's like older than all of the people in the party, probably. Oh, I love her. You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Yeah! That was a good one. Okay, where am I going? This way? This way? This way? I could go up. I could go up. I could go up. And you know what? I think going up would be a good idea, because we can go into this little bit here. And grab this herb. And grab this tiger. And grab this chest. And grab this dragon tail. And look at this dragon tail. And wow, it's a bit crappy, isn't it? Let's not use that. Looks like we win. Nice. Quartz waistcoat. Quartz waistcoat. What is on this quartz waistcoat? Fire and Rangus. 
Not for you. Uh, no, it's not going on you either. Uh, you've already got one on, although that one gives you more skills. Okay. Right, uh, this way? Yeah, this way. Yeah, okay. I know where I'm going, this is fine. <laughs> I love how I keep saying that. I was just like, do I really know where I'm going though? I, I wonder if I can get away from this. We well, love apparently not. Sweets are best after exercise, yes? Something super sweet. Yeah! Something super duper sweet. But not too sweet. Gooey stuff. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> oh man. She just cracks me up sometimes, honestly. Oh dear. Featherlight steps. Featherlight steps. They are women's shoes. Which I think is still silly, but it happens. Ooh. Yeah, you can wear those. Uh, when is the last time I changed your shoes? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Lila. You could be wearing such better footgear at the moment. And instead, I've made you... not have good shoes. And it's the same with Edna. In fact, you can have that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. I feel so terrible. I've been neglecting them. This entire time. How dreadful of me. That sounds so insincere. <laughs> How dreadful of me. But I don't really care. I do care. Oh, this is a gold chest room. I guess something like this is right. Woo. Why are there so many gold chests in this one room? There's two of them! I can get changed without making a sound! Yeah, okay. Oh man. Sorry has a problem, but this is fine. He just keeps using his Mysticart. Goodness, Suri. He doesn't know the meaning of... What's the word? Moderation, that's the word. Right, okay. Finally, we got here. Okay. Right! Ah! Let's heal. Because the things are gonna happen. Uh, let's have some chocolate rusk. Yeah, chocolate rusk. And let's change to... No. Let's put Edna in the party. And keep the party like this otherwise. And I think we'll be okay to go. I'm hoping anyway. This Hellion is super annoying. Can you see it there? It's like that tiny little blob thing. I'll probably zoom in on it, but it's like this tiny blob and it's going to be a pain. That worked! That worked! Uh, <laughs> apparently uh, you need to use stealthy feet to get anywhere near it because otherwise it won't let you near it. I'm going to switch to Lila. So tiny. So tiny. Small but quick. Don't lose sight of them. Should I use wider range attacks? If you can hold them back, we'll follow your lead. Woo! Okay, I'm thinking it's time to look at the information for this. Quick and tiny and short. Ugh. Just focus on using attacks that sweep low and cover a wide range. Then, when you hit, jump in quick to continue the combo before it hits the ground. That is a good idea. Thank you, McLeo, for that information there. Okay. I think using the fire mass would be the best idea. In fact, we even have enough BG to use our Mystic Heart. I'm trying to use the arts that cover the ground the most. Because it's tiny! It's so small! You wouldn't think this thing would be a problem, would you? But it kind of gets annoying. Like, if I remember correctly. Just because it's tiny, you know? Why? Why? 
Surging landscape! What arts do I have, actually? Chrome fire, that's it, okay. That's fine. Whoa. Alright, let's just get some focus back up. Oh yeah, just come over here, that's fine. Thank you, Edna. Okay, let's go! That didn't kill it! No! Oh, I hope that would kill it, but never mind. That didn't even hit it. Wow, that killed her! Okay. I mean, it barely has any health left, come on. Go! What a formidable opponent! Yay! We killed it! Actually, that went a lot better than I expected it to. And we KO'd it. We sorry, we killed it with a banish blast. And the only time we died was when Rose died near the end there. That's surprising. Wow. She might not have even died. Darn. Oh my goodness. At least we got that out of the way though. Did I... did I become a Hellion? I'm sorry. I must have caused you all great trouble. No. We're just glad you're alright. My name is Forcia. Oh my! There's an Iris gem here! An Earth in Historia! Could we have that? But of course. This is nowhere near enough to show my gratitude, however. No, it's perfect. Thank you. Dear me, what an honorable shepherd you are. If you'd like to thank us, could you maybe give your blessing to a village? It's called Gadadin, and it's very close by. Gadadin? That's the village outside the Shrine of the Fire Trial, correct? Do you have a vessel lined up? Well, uh, we'll find one for you. All right. I'll head over to the village for now. Oh, that was good of our... Thank you, Forcia. Do you have anything to say, Rose? Uh, yes. I just hope Forcia accepts. And we'll need to find a suitable vessel, too. Let's head back to Gadadin. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in the next episode. Yes, that's right. We're going to end it off after looking at this Irish gem. Right, Irish gem? It. Lila travels with an unknown young shepherd. A strong bond of trust unites them. Killer, Lila. You were in perfect harmony. He was quite skilled despite his youth. Yeah, compared to him. You've still got a long way to go. Lila, I wish I could go on a journey like that with you. Saray. Excuse you, Saray. Huh? Yes. This journey now is every bit as enjoyable as it was back then. Thanks to everyone here. Oh, I love you, Lila. Her title leveled up. What, because of that? Which one? Oh, I think it's, um... That one used to be Tortured Soul, and now it's Sentimental Lady. Holder of an irreplaceable fond memory. Its warmth, the, ev the evidence of the bond between a shepherd and his prime lord. That's so sweet. In any case, it's time to end off the episode. So we're just going to run back to the safe point over here so that I can end it off. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below in the comments what you thought everything that happened here in this essay. Essay. <laughs> here in this episode here today. I'm, I've got essays on the brain. It's the exam time. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Anyway, 
Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry that it was mostly just traveling and exploring in Eater Cave. But hey, whatever. It was fun and lots of mystic arts. Um, thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time. Uh, Howling Blade, full tempest. Sweet dreams. That did nine thousand damage. It doesn't even have nine thousand HP. It's time. Howling Blade, full tempest. Sorry, you literally did three hundred damage. How unnecessary was that? Go. Prepare yourself. I won't hold back. Nope. Crystal Rod. Next. They're not the only ones who can be extra. Crimson Flame. May it burn your soul. Bears. This is it. You're Sweet. not done yet. Uh, um. It's time. Howling blade, full tempest. Not yet. You have a problem, Stray. You need to become conscious of the fact that you have a problem. We can help you. We can help you to understand that mystic arts aren't something that you need to use every single battle, Stray. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why this is just a random thought that comes into my head every so often, but I just- I love Saray. I love him so much. Oh my god. I just love him. He's just such a good, you know? He does his best. I love him. He'd probably be like- He'd probably be like really good at just using his Mysticar all the time, you know? I love him so much. He's such a good person! Oh god, Saray, you have a problem! There we go. I knew it was coming! As soon as I saw he had 5 PG, I was like, he's, he's gonna do it. Like, he just did it. He just fucking did it. Well, you know what, Saray? You do that. You use your Mr. Park. Yeah!